Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your first video vlog of the day for October 28, 2014, Tuesday morning around 7.03 a.m. The sun's coming up. It's going to be a warm day. Highs around 65. Tomorrow could be the last Indian summer day of the year, which we could peak out at 70 in this area. And back to fall, I heard Sunday we could get the S word, snow. Some news to report, the Washington Redskins upset the Dallas Cowboys last night in Monday Night Football, and we're almost going to get an MRI, hope he's okay, and hopefully the Cowboys do not go on this slide like they do to miss the playoffs, but I think the, the real deal, big showdown this weekend against the Arizona Cardinals for the Dallas Cowboys, and also some other news to report, Game 6 of the World Series t tonight, between the Giants and the Royals, Giants are going to win tonight. And seven years ago today, the Boston Red Sox swept the Colorado Rockies to win their second World Series title in four years. That was a pretty good day in Red Sox history. And that's about it on the news. My next subject is my continuation series of the top 10 greatest everything and anything. I've reached the top 10 greatest Boston TV news male anchors of all time. This is an impressive list. Some of the greatest names have broadcast anchored nudes in Boston. Most of them stayed their entire careers in Boston. And these are local guys. All of these 10 people could have been on network news or cable network if they decided to because they were such talented and such good. And here's the top 10 list. Number 10 on the old time list of greatest Boston TV male news anchors. David Wade, he's currently the 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. host of WBZ News. And he before worked for Fox 25 for a number of years as a lead male anchor. And also he worked for the WBZ Morning News for about seven years. Dave's a great guy. He's in that number 10. Number 9 on the all time list of greatest Boston television news anchors, male of all time, Jim Boyd. Jim was worked mornings on WCVV TV5 for many years. He was a very great news anchor and also some reporting. He retired from the business in the late 2000s and then he went back to school to get his degree from Tufts University. He went actually went to school back in the 60s but he didn't get his uh, his degree because he went into television but what Jim said before he passed away He's still living. He says he wants to go. He went back to get his college degree. Good for him doing that. Number nine, eight on the all time list of greatest Boston television news anchors of all time Gene Levanshi. Gene has been the anchor of the Fox 25 morning news since its interception in 2003. Pretty good. He's a great news host. He used to be a sports anchor and I'm surprised that Fox 25 has not, not put him into the prime time news at 5, 6, and 11. He would be great at that. Number 6 on the list of the all-time Boston greatest television news male anchors of all time, Mike Nikitas, who was the lead male anchor for the NS NECN News for the prime time news at 9. He's been at NECN for over 20 years. Very good host. Great report. Port, I'm surprised that 4, 5, 7, or 25 has never scooped him up at all. He would have been great working for those stations. He comes in at number 6. Number 5 on the all-time list of greatest Boston TV news anchors male of all time. Randy Price. Randy Price has been in Boston television for over 30 years. First at WBZ, then WHDH, now at WCVV. TV5. He's pretty good. He's real popular. He's a dog lover and stuff like that. He's one of the best of all time. He actually recovered for a recovering alcoholic which almost made his career like almost stand in the water in the early 90s when he was with WBZ but he bounced back. That good for him. Number four on the all time list of greatest Boston TV news male anchors of all time. R.D. Saul. R.D. worked for many years on Channel 7 and then he went to New England Cable News for many years being the lead male anchor on the Prime News at 9. Pretty good. He's one of the greatest 
all time. Now he's a professor at Boston University, from, but from time to time he appears on the NECN for special events and stuff like that. He's he's great, and he should have been a, like a network news anchor or reporter because he was so, such good in covering politics and stuff. He comes in at number nine. I mean, number four. Number three on the all-time list of greatest Boston TV news meal anchors of all time, Jack Hines. Jack's had a Fabulous 50-year career with WBZ, WHDO, WHDH, that turned into the WCVB Channel 5 in Boston. And 22 years, he was the anchor of WLVI TV 56 News. Very great. He's good. He was good at political com commentary and other commentary. He was this, the first major anchor for the WLVI News. He was with them the entire 22 years they had a news department as an anchor. Eventually he returned into a special correspondent. It was sad to see his career and in 2006 when he said it like a statement that that WLVI should have stayed the way it was. Some local ownership step up to the plate and to, to like to buy the station, keep it where it is. But he says it is what it is. There was rumors he was he had one too many drinks that night. But that hasn't been proven. Number two on the all-time list of greatest Boston TV, TV news meal anchors of all time, Chuck Curtis. Chuck Curtis was on the air for over 40 years, first with the old WHDH, then it turned into WCVV. For many years, he he was co-anchor of the 6 p.m. news with his then-wife Natalie Jacobson. Then in 2001, he moved to NECN, which he spent the rest of his career at and Chet passed away earlier this year of prostate cancer. Very sad to see him pass away. He was battling that prostate cancer for a few years, but, you know, he miraculously fought it for the greatest of heart, even showing up for his daughter's wedding last year, even though he was, like, b battling cancer, cancer, and the effects of it was, you know, devastating to see him go through the battle of cancer, but, you know, he showed up for a start of the wedding. you got to be credit for that because this is an inspiration. Number, and number one on the all-time list of greatest Boston TV news mail anchors of all time, Jack Williams. Jack's been with WBZ for 39 years. He's done a lot of things. He was the, he's the anchor, reporter, stuff like that. For years, he had that Wednesday's child every Wednesday for about an adopted child and stuff and a needy child. Several times over the, his career, WBZ seemed to put him out to pasture for like burying him at the like morning news or, or early or new news thinking he's going to leave. But the ratings for WBZ News went zip and they brought him back as the, as the head anchor at the 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. news. All of the time, he's finally, in 2014, decided to step down, retire, semi-retirement. He'd probably be back on special occasions or fill one, but something tells me if the ratings tank again, WBZ will probably coach him out of retirement. They always do, and I wouldn't be surprised. That's about it on that. Ho hope you enjoy these lists, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. I'll be back later for two more of these video blogs, and they're going to be about the today, about the classic game show Let's Make a Deal and actress model Shelly Hack. Don't forget, Facebook friends, I need those questions in for a future video blog. Questions and answers are coming soon when I get the questions. And don't forget the prime nine of people, Julie Brockton, Local News 6, weekday weather, uh, no, weekday traffic reporter, great smile and nice legs. I'm a big fan of legs. Heidi Lee Pratt, who has the nicest smile and nicest legs in the world. Janelle Tobin, um, Crystal Pistol, Dee Patel, Donald Beauregard, Bruce Cronin, Tony Ramos, and Angelo, who goes to market basket, plays scratch tickets like they're going out of style and wins nothing. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.